What is up guys and welcome back to the job. <coughs> wow. I think that was a bug. Let's start that over. Welcome to the <coughs> Thanks so much for watching the Johnny Q. Wow, it just that just threw me off. That sucked. This is gonna be a quick tutorial, a quick guide on what not to do as a photographer. If you're a photographer and you do this, you should most definitely stop. Because it just looks unprofessional. And that's chimping. Not like a chimp or a monkey, but you should stop chimping. Let me tell you what I mean. So let's say you're at a wedding or you're like at a park with your family or you're just out and about shooting photos, right? And this is what I mean and it's so annoying. I'll take the picture, look at it. Okay, cool. Another picture, another picture, another picture, 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 picture. Just constantly, like, do you see how unprofessional that looks? And I understand that you have to get your shot. You have to see what's on the screen to like maneuver your settings, I understand. But there's this really cool thing within the camera. There's it's called a light meter. That light meter in photography is very important because it lets you know whether you're over or underexposed. And if you're constantly taking photos and checking them and fixing your settings, it looks unprofessional. And this is what I learned in like my first day of photography class, like out in the field, don't be chimping because it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look like you're a pro. It doesn't look like you know what you're doing. So if you're gonna be out there shooting, take your photo and look at the screen, but also adjust within like one or two frames. And then once you're like in the zone, keep taking photos and adjust using the scrollies and the buttons. It's not, that's not what they're called, but you understand. So tip of the day for those photographers, don't chimp. It's not cool, it looks weird and doesn't look professional. Some of you photographers out there are going to rip me apart in the comments and that's fine, but I genuinely think that this tip for photographers will actually help you in the long run because again, it makes you look better it makes you look like you know what you're doing. And if you keep taking photos and you keep looking at your LCD screen, to, to me especially, and other photographers maybe, it might not make you look best. So stop chimping. It'll help everyone and it'll help you. Now if you're taking photos on your iPhone, it's okay to take photos and look at them like it's fine. But if you're like on a professional shoot, if you're getting paid to take photos and or video, a big event or like something that's of substance and you're getting paid for it, don't be that guy that takes photos. Hmm, looks cool. Photo, hmm, looks cool. Photo, hmm, looks cool. Just look at your camera one or two times, fix the settings, and then use your buttons and your scrollies to fix the rest. Like, use your exposure meter and go from there. And I think that's what every photographer should learn, every photographer should take into consideration, because also makes your workflow a lot faster, and you can quickly maneuver within settings a lot quicker. That's part of being a professional photographer, guys. It's true. And that is all for today's photography tip of the week or of the day. It's not even a thing on my channel, but hey, whatevs. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. All right. Photo looks good. Photo looks good. Photo looks good. Don't do that. <laughs>